So as you all know, I did start to try to get back into Call of Duty a few months ago, starting with Modern Warfare 2. And I gotta say, I did kind of enjoy myself coming back into the Call of Duty scene. You know, I haven't really played Call of Duty 2 too much since, like, Black Ops 3. Um, you know, I kind of dropped off around, like, the Cold War era and stuff like that, and the Vanguard era. But long story short, as you guys can see, I'm level 600 on Modern Warfare 3, so you know I have been playing this game a decent amount over the past few months. And I obviously shouldn't have to say this. I don't use anything like a VPN. I don't tool box i don't use anything that can give me easier lobbies i don't aim by i don't wall hack anything like that i mean come on like this is simple stuff you guys can literally go back to my old videos if you want to but now it appears that i am in an infinite shadow ban loop on my main account on call of duty it has been really messing with me making videos because i have not literally been able to find a match in literally weeks and when i was able to find a match i had to sit at matchmaking for at least 10 minutes with a total ping of like 200 so that's how you know i'm just ended up in hacker lobby and shadow band lobbies and this all started from my adventure on warzone and it's funny because i kind of got caught in the mix of you know with the new call of duty system being transferred over to like game pass and, you know there are hackers coming over from the game pass and recently there has just been a shit ton of hackers in call of duty across warzone across multiplayer man it has just gotten completely out of hand i've made tiktoks about it and people are actually agreeing with me like they actually get into these hacker lobbies often and now it's kind of hard to tell who's actually hacking and who was not hacking in warzone and call of duty nowadays because it just becomes so common and as you can see here i'm a controller player i don't play on keyboard and mouse uh so i don't know how people can tell that i'm hacking from controller i guess the aim assist just looks too strong for people there are some controller players watching this i do use black ops aim assist like these are my settings right here like um i don't really know how else to really explain myself on this shit bro well, i did hear that there was a way that you can get somebody shadow bad it's just by simply spam reporting them you know when you're spectating them on warzone and i can definitely see somebody doing that after watching me you know absolutely shit on them you know after not having to play call of duty for months i've been playing different types of games i've been playing on keyboard and mouse for months i've been playing all sorts of other fps games and i come over to little old call of duty and people are over here thinking that i'm hacking like i said i've made tiktok videos about this uh people were typing in text to chat saying that i was hacking and the fact that it's just so easy to get somebody banned in this game now it's just absolutely just makes my head hurt sometimes man i just don't understand like how can something like this be in the game i think that there should be a system that if you get falsely you know you know like shadow banned for like being aim botting or you know what i'm saying cheating in the game Whoever made that report on you, they should also get the same treatment because sometimes it just gets out of hand. Some people get butt hurt and they like to spam report somebody because, you know, they just got shit on in the game. You know, that's completely reasonable. But, you know, you, that that feature is just so annoying. That, that spam report shit, that is just annoying. But I just think that it's overall bullshit that I'm sitting here in a shadow band lobby when I just want to simply play the game. It's crazy that I'm being punished for being decent at a video game when, you know, like, there are people actually going around roaming around hacking making multiple accounts you know not being banned for months or for weeks like right now as i'm queued into this lobby as you can see my milliseconds is just going up steadily bro like it my milliseconds should not be even past like 30 at this point man okay here we go we actually found a match relatively quick and as you can see there are a lot of low levels in this lobby when have you seen low levels in your lobbies in call of duty like let's be honest now there is another thing in this game called like an unlock tool and i think that's uh with a lot of people in this thing like bro there's just so many fucking bugs in this game man i'm just so over modern warfare 3 at this point it just seems like i can't have a normal experience in call of duty anymore it's just wraps from my call of duty adventure bro i don't know man